We get lots of questions about our Hot Wheels Railroad, so I thought I'd go through a few pros and cons of these kinds of trains. Because, well, at the end of the day, the oldest versions of these are now 40 years old. And some of these problems that come up are just because they're old. And some of them are just some design oversights and flaws. But in general, these are still a lot of fun. So here's a few things to look out for and some pros and cons that come with the Hot Wheels Railroad. Right off the bat, we'll start with the pros because there's a lot here. Every single car in the Hot Wheels Railroad has these cool rotating wheels that help them go around corners. And this works for the most part, and I'll get a little more in depth with that a little later. But every car and train has a gimmick too. There are boxes you can load in and out of the box cars. There are cab figures inside all of the engines that pop out from the press of the button. Um, the diesels do operate slightly differently. I kind of like this sliding door mechanism on these types. The whole freight yard set is littered with interactive pieces that work with all these train cars as well. For instance, there's a crane on here that loads logs and wood off of trucks and onto the flatbed cars. That's really fun to use. When empty, those flatbed cars can also be used to carry other Hot Wheels cars. Although I feel like this design wasn't quite so thought out. While the cars do teeter on them, they don't tend to hold up very well because it's pretty top heavy. The cars clip together and uncouple easily enough, although they can break and if they do, they're practically impossible to replace. And speaking of, it's getting really hard to find replacements for these. I mean, shoot, these things again are creeping up on 40 years old, so take care of these things because finding replacements is expensive and these are not really intended for disassembly or repair. They're just toys, so when they break, you just chuck them, I guess. Even though these things do turn around corners with themselves, they're not the greatest, especially in tight corners like these switch yards here. These freight cars and trains are just easily derailed, and that's just part of the game with these. Fortunately, if you roll over a section that has a switch on it, sometimes they realign themselves, and then they're back on track. This section by the crane on the freight set is notorious for derailing trains, and that's because the track isn't really lined up. A quick piece of 2x4 put underneath the set where it folds over will solve this though because it just puts the track back in line with where it needs to go. Over time that connection just tends to sag a little bit and uh, a little bit of wood goes a long way to keep that stable. The track itself is easily the biggest con for the Hot Wheels Railroad and that's because they just don't hold up. Once these connections break then they're pretty much useless and you've either got to tape or glue them back together. The playsets made heavy use of stickers, which were really detailed and looked nice at the time, but after 40 years, they get dried out and start to fall off or start to bubble or peel in certain areas. Go My through? freight yard set is actually slightly newer from 1990 and it used to have stickers on all of the roads and those all fell off. Oddly enough, all of the older design stickers stayed on on mine, and that's definitely something when you're looking for these on the secondhand market, you'll see lots of missing stickers on these. They just dried out and fell off. You may also cool. notice a lot of little holes in this playset, and that's because these are all missing street lamps and road signs and such, and those are really easy to lose, and uh, those are a pain to find, and most of the secondhand sets don't even have those anymore. If you like Hot Wheels and you like trains, this is the perfect combination, and there's really nothing else that's been made since, at least as of this video, that does what this system does. It blends perfectly with Hot Wheels, the trains are cool, and I'm really fortunate that my parents got me one when I was a kid and that I kept it in good enough shape to be able to use it with my own kid now. They did make a few other play sets for the Hot Wheels Railroad system, but the most common one to find is this freight yard set. They did make other types of trains and rolling stock. Don't get caught down the rabbit hole of trying to find the elusive steam engine. There is one steam engine they made for Hot Wheels and it's practically impossible to find for these trains. It was in one gift set, and if you can find it, you're probably paying like, you know, crazy amounts of money for it. Because these are super old, eBay's pretty much your only option for finding these nowadays, so just be careful and double check all your listings, and don't overpay for stuff that's beat up. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, 
ask us questions about these because there's not a whole lot of information out there about these. So if you need help trying to find some or you want advice on where to look or what to look for, let us know. Stay tuned for more. Can you show me how the little conductor comes out of the Amtrak? Hey. Whoa, hello.